everyone! So this video is going to be my top 10 spring lipsticks. This is actually a collab with Louise from Wheezy's Bubble on YouTube and she's so lovely and she has basically the same taste in makeup as me and we clearly like all the same things so if you guys like my channel then you'll probably like hers too. So if you guys want to go and check out that then she will also be doing 10 lipsticks that are her favourite for spring as well. So I'll leave all her links in the description below so you can go and watch her video and subscribe to her channel as well. Hopefully you can see me a bit better now that I've zoomed in. So the first lipstick that I want to talk about is this one and this is the MUA Power Pow in the shade Runway and this is a gorgeous orangey red colour and I just think this is a great shade for spring and summer. It's super moisturising, it's one of these stick lipsticks and mine is a bit melted at the top but you just twist it to um, bring up more product and this is a lovely lipstick, super moisturising and it smells amazing too. So here's the swatch of it on my wrist, I'm not sure if you can really tell, um, but it's really shiny, really glossy and it's a really nice colour. So the second lipstick I want to talk about, which again I love for spring, is this one and it's the Rimmel Apocalypse in the shade Luna and this is a really gorgeous nude coral colour and it's just beautiful. It's a liquid lipstick and it's kind of halfway between a gloss and a lipstick so it feels really nice and moisturising. So here is a swatch of this one on my arm next to the MUA one so as you can see it's a lot lighter and more corally. The next lipstick I want to talk about is this W7 Mega Matte Lipstick in the colour Chippy and again this is another coral colour but instead this one is matte and it's another liquid lipstick but this one dries to a matte finish and I got mine on Amazon in a set of five which I really recommend because it, they worked out super cheap, I think it was about £8 for five of them so this is a steal really. W7 Mega Matte Lips actually do dry to a matte finish after about 5 minutes, so again that's another thing I really like. So here's a swatch of this one on my arm. There's also another colour from the W7 Mega Matte Lipstick collection that I also really like and this is kind of cheating because that will mean that I'll have 11 lipsticks but I just couldn't resist putting this one in because again I really love this colour and this is in the shade Oddball, it's just a bright pink colour. This is probably going to be one of my favourite colours for this spring and I just think it's such a lovely pink colour that everyone needs in their lipstick collection. So here is a swatch of it on my arm next to the others. It's really difficult to show these arm swatches because as I turn my wrist you can't see them as well but whatever. So the next colour is a Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Tutti Frutti and this is just a really pretty orange colour. It's one of my only oranges in my collection other than the MUA one I showed earlier but this is more of a true orange colour and it's again super moisturising as it's one of the lip butters and I love this shade in the summer. So here's the swatch of this one on my arm. The next colour is actually from Primark from the PS Love Beauty range and unfortunately this doesn't have a name so I can't tell you what it's called but it's basically a really pretty bright pink colour. So I know it can be quite difficult to find some of Primark's beauty products but if you do see this lipstick in there I really recommend you pick it up. It's just a really pretty bright pink shade and their lipsticks are also super creamy and super moisturising and they smell really nice as well. So next is another Revlon lip butter and this is in the colour Creme Brulee and this is my favourite nude colour for the spring and summer. It's super lightweight and it's quite sheer and it just provides a really nice 
nude glossy finish basically on your lips and this goes with any makeup look so I really like this nude colour. But I'm really running out of it so I need to pick up another one. So I'm not sure if you can see it squashing my arm because it's pretty light but there it is. So next up is this MUA lipstick in the shade number 2 and again unfortunately this doesn't have a name but this is a really pretty purpley pink colour and these lipsticks are only £1, they're super creamy, super buttery and I love them. So here is a swatch of that one there. Next up I have a Revlon Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Pink Pout. I've mentioned it in a video before, it's basically just a really pretty pink colour. I think it's similar to Snob from MAC and it's just got that kind of purpley, uh, under purpley blue undertone to it. It's great for the hotter months. So on me, I think this looks kind of lilac-y, which I quite like because it's unlike anything else in my lipstick collection. So here's a swatch of Pink Pout. So I have another Revlon lip butter, I don't know if you can tell but I do like these Revlon lip butters. And this one is in the colour Strawberry Shortcake. This was so raved about when it first came out and I remember seeing Tanya Burr raving about it so I went out and bought it straight away. It's just a really pretty pink colour and again these are super moisturising and they feel like lip balm on your lips. So here is this watch of Strawberry Shortcake and I'm running out of arm space. So the final lipstick that I would recommend for spring is this NYC Smooch Proof Liquid Lip Stain and I've mentioned this again in previous videos and this stains your lips so badly so that's why I've left it for last but it's just a beautiful hot pink colour. I really feel like Barbie when I wear this colour. For a spring or summer night out, I just think this would be amazing. So as always, I just tried to get that lipstick off and it wouldn't come off and I don't know why I attempted to even remove it midway through filming. So now I have the remains of what was left and then a really nude lipstick over the top, but you can still see it and I probably look a bit crazy right now. So here's a swatch of it at the end. So that is it for my top 10 or 11 um, spring lipsticks and I really hope you guys found this useful and entertaining. So please also go and check out Louise's video on her channel Wheezy's Bubble and I will link that down below and she's also going to talk through her top 10 spring lipsticks. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you will go and subscribe to Louise and subscribe to me as well if you like and please if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and comment your favourite spring lipsticks in the comments below. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!